The state of Iowa reports that all of the new cases are from the Omicron variant or the subvariant of that. The good news, though, is that the new CDC approved COVID booster that target the Omicron variant are starting to arrive here in the state. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning in front of the Dallas County Public Health. Griffin, what are they telling you about this? Well, so as soon what they said was as soon as they authorized that new vaccine, they started shipping it out. So that's why we're starting to see it arrive at pharmacies and uh, county public health officials offices around the state now. And that's going to continue over the next few days, really, and even week. It's going to become a lot more available really all over the state. But let's take a look at this new booster and how it differs from the past ones. Now, this one is just one shot, but it protects against both the original strain of coronavirus coronavirus and that most recent Omicron strain and there are both Pfizer and Moderna versions of it. It also takes the place of any previous booster so you don't have to get the previous boosters before this one. However, you do need to get that first series of COVID shots. So if you're completely unvaccinated, you'll need to get either the Pfizer, Moderna or the new Novavax COVID vaccines before this updated booster. Now, everyone is eligible as long as they've had that first series of vaccines and they also recommend that you wait at least two months since your last COVID shot before getting this booster. Public health officials are saying that they understand that some are feeling that booster burnout, but a good way to think about this uh, new flu shot is kind of like a seasonal flu shot. Initially, when the vaccines were first coming out, there was tons of demand, um, but the supply wasn't there. So we were having kind of conflict there, and um, it was very exciting to see so many people wanting to get that vaccine. Um, now, um, a lot of people are already partially vaccinated. Um, they've completed their primary series, so they have some protection. So there's not quite the urgency that we're seeing to get additional doses. Um, and I think that a lot of folks are indeed getting burnt out by saying, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. So public health officials really want to stress that it is really important to get this booster to make sure you have the most immunity, especially as it gets colder. We're going to be indoors again. You know, it's that type of flu season. And uh, speaking of the flu, this is kind of a similar type of deal where it's a seasonal COVID shot, it's a seasonal COVID booster, seasonal flu shot type of thing like that. So uh, when it becomes more available over the next week, you can honestly get your flu shot at the same time, really, and just save a trip to the pharmacy that way and uh, do a lot to protect yourself and to protect others. Yeah, that's a good way to put that Griffin flu shot, COVID booster. And like you said, you just need those two initial COVID shots before you can get the booster. Thanks for that live report.